Hey guys, I'm gonna give this another try. Um, I posted a video, uh, it's been up for, I don't know, hour and a half? Or at least it was about an hour and a half ago it went up and uh, it's been taken down. Apparently, I said something that uh, ruffled some skirts. So, we're gonna give this another go because I think this information is very important to get out there. And if I get removed, I get removed. So, um, anyway. I apologize, I'm sweaty. I've been out uh, tilling and moving chickens and stuff, so it's, uh, it's a hot day. But anyway, it um, came to my attention a little less than a week ago that uh, there is a particular substance that is being added to meat. It is being injected into cows and pigs in certain states throughout the U.S. This substance has been confirmed that since 2019 they've been working on making this an oral substance that you can ingest and it will enter your bloodstream and protect you against certain scary things. So anyway, if I'm being vague enough, if I'm not being vague enough, let me know. So uh, basically what it's coming down to is this particular substance, they're experimenting with adding this to potatoes, carrots, I think spinach was on the list. Um, and it's being injected into cows and pigs. So this will be carried within the food, will be ingested by people who eat that food, and will enter their bloodstreams and protect them from scary things against their will and without their knowledge. So anyway, that is what I'm trying to tell people. Um, if you're reading what I'm saying, it's not cool. And uh, that's why they shut me down. They don't want me telling you these things. So anyway, um, how can I say this? As I was saying in my previous video, if you got a chance to see it before it came down, if pork, beef, or you know any other meats, I'm, I'm not sure if this is limited to pork and beef, it could be others. Basically, if I can't hunt it, kill it, raise it or find it locally, it's not going on my table. And um, I would encourage other people to start thinking the same way. This, uh, this kind of stuff is getting pretty rampant and um, it's really not, not okay. So anyway, um, if you are having difficulty, like we may, with finding the meat you want, just so you know, you can mix lentils with rice, which makes a complete protein. And uh, I would like to encourage everyone who watches this video, shares this video, start thinking about growing your own food, raising your own animals, get chickens. Eggs are a superfood. Um, you can survive on pretty much eggs alone if you really needed to. Um, like I said, rice and beans, that's a complete protein. You may be missing the texture, the flavor of meat, but do you want to ingest something that's been put in that meat that is really not good for you? I mean, people have died suddenly. Just saying, it's mysterious stuff. Where did it come from? Why is it only happening in the last couple of years? Young athletes, people who are top of their game, perfect picture of health, drop dead. From what? Anyway, so just wanted to put that out there. I'm going to give this another try. Um, I may get shut down completely. I may not be on here for a little while if that's the case, but I really feel it's important that people know about this. And as I was saying in the other video, if you have not done a lot of growing in your area, do a little research and find out what grows where you live. Um, here in Florida, I can grow a lot of things but they're not the things that I was used to growing when I moved here. Um, white potatoes, they don't do very well. I can grow sweet potatoes. Um, you know, chickpeas instead of, you know, whatever, you know, snap, you know, sugar snap peas, that kind of stuff. You just, you gotta figure out what grows where you live. So a little research will go a long way. And buy heirloom seeds, non-GMO. 
and uh, save your seeds because it may be difficult to get seeds that haven't been tampered with in the near future. So anyway, um, I'm going to try to post this again and see what happens. I guess I'm about the same length I was before. And uh, as you can see, the house around me is coming along. I'll be posting some more house videos coming up. So like I said before, if you are enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. Come back for more videos. Hit the bell for notifications. And uh, hopefully I'll still be here. Thanks.